Bonjour everybody, I'm Alex and welcome back to my channel Alex and His Bags. Today I wanted to do a video a bit different. Some of you asked me to do a what's in my bag video and I'm not the biggest fan of these because I don't find them really interesting but I realized that it could be interesting on this bag especially the Nano Speedy because it is so small and you can't really find it in store easily with the current events with the coronavirus and everything. Stores are closed so I see that this bag is really becoming more available uh, online and I felt like it would be a nice thing for you to purchase if you actually know what it can fit inside. Even if you have the return policy, I feel like it would be still interesting to know more about the bag before purchasing. So what I did is I was actually using my Fendi Picaboo with the monster face that I love but I don't use much but I need to use it more and I figured that I would just take off all the things inside and see if they fit. So here is actually how I store the bag. So as you can see it has already become like a little Little bit golden as you can see I do have two spots on it it's like over there with the light maybe you won't be able to see but I don't know if it comes from water or anything I did spray this bag with a colonial carbon pro but also I do avoid to take it under the rain so but anyway this bag is really nice it has made me a bit less afraid of Vachetta because I realized it's not that delicate compared to my lifestyle the only downfall is that the strap isn't removable but I guess you can easily store it inside I just feel like it would make more sense to have that option so here is the inside of the bag so as you can see it's just a giant hole I have the tag right here which says Le Vuitton made in Italy. So I wanted to show this bag because I did show it on my channel for the unboxing but I've noticed that for a lot of my bags I forgot to do maybe some reviews or some first impression and whatever. So I guess you can see them during the unboxing but that's about it. So this is my Fendi Picaboo in the regular size in black calfskin with the monster design which I really love. It has gold hardware and black hardware just on the opening here. So this bag is really pretty you can see the luxuriousness of the leather I think it is really well captured at the camera and now it's tough I could put a lot more but I don't like to put many things in my bag so without further ado let's put the items from this bag to this one and see what fits or not so first item I always take with me is my pochette clip so this fits perfectly in nano speedy and you have a lot of space still empty so this is just perfect next is my Chanel card holder in the boy version chevron caviar and light gold hardware it's my zip coin purse i really love it i have all my cards inside it's very practical very compact so i can fit it as well perfectly it just slide inside and as you can see there is still a lot of space if we stay with slg so this one is actually empty right now because i'm not using it but this is the passport holder from louis vuitton and this can fit but you would have to put it in first i guess because the size is not ideal so you can slide it in and then you can move along a bit and once it's inside it's perfect inside it's not the most practical because once you have some things uh, inside the bag it would mean that it would be a trouble to get it out i guess you could even like put it like this and stay it like this and put your item all up but i feel like it would be more practical to find things but the minute like the things would fall it would be like so troubly so i don't know i don't think you will be able to see very well but i have all my items up and now you can have an easy access to the passport holder but yeah i don't use this passport holder inside this bag because i feel like it's not the most practical. Then I have my Chanel compact mirror, which is the double mirror. This fits obviously perfectly in the bag. Next item is the mini pochette and the mini pochette actually doesn't fit. It would fit if it was empty and you would fold it in a bit because basically it's the same size as the Nano Speedy. So as you can see, it would fit, but it would take so much space. Like as you can see now it's inside the bag and I guess it could be like a compartment if you wish but I don't think this bag needs one. While it's here I can show you that my lip balm fits perfectly, tissue paper as well, gum if you need and obviously my bag holder which is a lifesaver. So yeah obviously this does fit but if I want to take it out it will be a bit of a trouble and I don't think it's really practical 
and I don't think it's really necessary. And lastly, I have my uh, ZP round coin purse which does fit perfectly as well so as you can see pretty much everything fits in this bag uh, in terms of SLGs that I own if you would put like bigger SLGs they wouldn't like for example a long wallet obviously wouldn't but all those compact wallets uh, card holder uh, coin purses everything everything fits perfectly this is why this bag is so practical because even if it's really small you can actually pack a punch what i do is that i actually use my passport or my id to use as a base shaper so basically as it's a document i always need with me it will be uh, inside of my bag but also as it's a document that i basically never take out of my bag i feel like i don't need to have it at uh, the most practical angle so basically it's in the bottom of the bag then i can put everything i need inside of the bag and it will avoid the bag to be like really sagging and everything and i feel like it's a life-changing thing because you know the speedies have a tendency to become a bit saggy so this is not the look i like i know some people do like the saggy look for the speedies but this is not my personal favorite so this way my speedy is actually really nicely shaped in the bottom so yeah it's a bag i really recommend i hope if you are looking for one you can actually score it so if you are looking for this one i would advise you to check the website regularly because i've seen them pop up already two or three times i think same for the Nano Noe, if you are in the look for it, and uh, Pochette Metis, and a lot of other Louis Vuitton bags that are usually hard to get. And if you have any question on this bag, I will be more than happy to answer them. So please feel free to leave me a comment or to contact me on Instagram at Alex and his bags. And I will see you very soon in a new video. Bye bye.